Hey guys, Tim and Kyle here with Dad Smoking Cigars. We really hope you enjoy this newest episode of Fresh Review Friday. So sit back, grab a cigar, and enjoy. So, um, just as a uh, little quick, you know, PSA. PSA. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wave <Wavelength laughs> apparently still works between us. Uh, Tractor beam. I tried to be clever, and then Tim tried to be clever after me, and it really didn't work. So if you want to know what we were trying to do, just stick around to the Wait end for the bloopers the at the end, because yes, Dad be, really messed up. There's going to be bloopers aplenty. But, anyways... Welcome to another Fresh Review Friday in the Dad Smoking Cigars HQ presented by Casa Cueva Cigars. This week we are going to be reviewing yet another one of the offerings at the Pacific Cigar Show. From the final vendor we have lined up. Yes, exactly. The final vendor, and that is none other than Big Sky. And this week, what are we reviewing, Tim? This is the Big Sky Cigars Big Horn. Let's check it out. All right, guys, as we mentioned a second ago, we are reviewing the Big Sky Cigar Company's Big Horn. And Big Sky Cigars comes out of Montana, and they are bringing cigars back to Montana. That's sort of one of the things that they're big on, but they're huge on the outdoors. And so. And uh, I was in Montana not too long yes, ago. Yes, you were. And so the makeup of this actually is, is pretty simple in the way that it's explained is that it is a Maduro leaf um, wrapper encasing long filler. Uh, from Esteli, Nicaragua. And so that is really all the makeup information that we have on it. We don't know if it's a Puro, if it's strictly mm -hmm. all from Esteli, or just strictly all from Nicaragua. I mean, if it is... But it leads then, us to yeah. believe that the Maduro yeah. wrapper uh, beautifully encases the binder and long filler from the volcanic region of Esteli, Nicaragua. So that's what we're going to say it's from Nicaragua. I won't say it's a Puro, but it does sound like it is. But of course, we got to try it out with a cut and a light. Absolutely nice, dark oily wrapper. Very, very oily. I actually oily. like the look look of it. looks beautiful. It mm. it kind of looks like a giant Tootsie Roll. It kind of does, and it almost smells like one. I get pure leather on the side of the I cigar. Get, I get leather and cocoa, like sweet cocoa. A little bit of cocoa, but I it was and literally like I put my nose in my leather <laughs> jacket. Just that rich, yep. grainy leather. Yep, absolutely, and it's also got that same kind of texture to it, like kind of that a little bit of that, you have those leather jackets that are a little bit rough, mm -hmm. and they're not at all smooth or soft or anything like that. Yep. It's kind of got that same graininess to it. So It does. I'm going to borrow your cutter since we've got a torpedo. <laughs> and as always, guys, you know that we cut and light everything with Lotus Vertigo accessories here at Dad Smoking Cigars, the exclusive cigar accessory of Dad Smoking Cigars. There you go, sir. Well, I didn't choke this time. Well, that's good. Because normally when I do the dry draw... Oh, and I totally would have. <laughs> mm. Rich cocoa. Very rich cocoa. A little bit of a hint of the kind of dried fruit, dates or raisins and stuff like that. I always get that, but definitely a lot more cocoa in the dry draw. Yep. All right. <laughs> no more talking. Get to that. Should I sing don't, about toasting the foot? Don't, don't, don't. I won't sing about toasting the foot. Instead, he's going to talk like one of those uh, meditative people on that app. I'm in the studio, and I'm toasting. I'm in the studio, and no I'm one... toasting. Wow. You're welcome. He had to insert that elf reference. Nice cherry going on that one. Ooh. A lot of cocoa and some coffee in there. Yeah, they picked up a different flavor. What was that? That mm. was good. It was definitely kind of leathery. A little bit. It was almost a dessert kind of flavor. What was that? Mm. I think I know. I, I think I'm getting the same kind of thing, but I can't place it. It, it, it's definitely a, a rich cocoa chocolatey. Mm-hmm. 
And full transparency, I actually have had this cigar before. Yes, and we, have we both, both had have this had cigar it. before. And I don't know if – I don't remember <clears throat> it having this rich of a flavor initially. And I don't know if it's because maybe I didn't store it properly or it got a little dried out or I something like that. But, yeah, Wow. That flavor right off the bat, very rich cocoa with a bit of like kind of espresso, which mm -hmm. works nice because I'm actually having kind of an uh, espresso type coffee here, having some Cuban coffee right mm -hmm. now, and uh, it pairs quite nicely, and yeah, it's delicious, absolutely delicious. All right, guys, we've cut, we've lit, we've given you our initial notes, and now we're going to smoke through the first third, and we will be back with you in just a second to give you our thoughts. Be right back. Hey guys, real quick, we wanted to uh, shoot just a little quick segment about one of the sponsors for the Pacific Cigar Show, and of course we're talking about Luxury Cigar Club. Now, we have known the Luxury Cigar Club guys for a while. They reached out to us last year. We've developed a friendship and partnership and, and all these different things. They're such good guys. They're amazing, amazing guys. We got to hang out with uh, Dave a little bit last year, and we've gotten to have tons of conversations with all the other dudes who are involved with Luxury Cigar yep, Club. Chris and Ben. Chris and Ben, and they are great, great guys. And we appreciate all the – just the wonderful conversations, the partnership that we have. It's a friendship, and we're grateful to have it, and we couldn't be more thankful for them. So one of the things that they are so good at, mm -hmm. and we've said it before on our reviews. We post about it – post posted about it on mm -hmm. our Instagram – is that they are so good at curating – cigars that you wouldn't normally be able to find or that you wouldn't uh, expect to get for that good of a price point. They've okay. got multiple different levels of their subscription service. So go to LuxuryCigarClub.com and you can look at all the different packages. They're, I believe they call it Platinum. Their, their t highest level, mm -hmm. which is $150 a month, is a waiting list currently because oh, yeah. it is that much in demand. It runs out quick. But they are so good at curating cigars and not just going oh yeah I can get this one here or I can get that right. one there but getting ones I mean I watched a review and one of the recent boxes had uh, an Opus X in it mm -hmm. and so you get everything from up and coming like Big Sky Cigars you yeah, know they've exactly. included them up to Opus X and all sorts of different cigars and they are so good at what they do guys so if you have not heard about Luxury Cigar Club you need to check them out and if you want to come and meet Luxury Cigar Club guys at the Pacific Cigar Show. They're going to be there supporting the event. They're a sponsor of the event. If you purchase your VIP experience pass to the event, you will actually get the event glass, which they are sponsoring and has their logo yes, on it as absolutely. well. So we wanted to give them a little bit of love, make sure you guys know about Luxury Cigar Club. Other people have talked about them, and it's for good reason because they are a club that is worth subscribing to. Whether you're going on the entry level or you're wanting to get on the waiting list for the VIP but you're going the middle of the road until then, you've got to check them out. Their packaging, the way that they do everything. I mean, who else on a box, when you open it up, you may smoke. <laughs> they give you permission to just light it up. And they, like Tim said, they take a lot of care curating the cigars they put into yes. the box. And they also have a card in there that shows you exactly what you're smoking, mm -hmm. what company it's from, different details about the cigar. They want you to be informed about what yes. you're smoking because they will pick everything from some of the most obscure boutique brands you may have never heard of to the heritage brands that everyone's heard of. They have a nice mix of all of them yes and it's just amazing and they're blowing up they're they're gaining so much headway and traction it's for good ridiculous reason. and for good reason and we're so proud of them and we're so grateful to partner with them yes and that they have given us their support and we are very proud to give them our support and you guys should give them your support as well yes yeah, so go and check out luxurycigarclub.com we're going to link the information down below pick the subscription package that works best for you because there's a lot of different things going on in the industry right now, and going to a brick and mortar, depending on what state you live in, if you're in Utah or different places, you know, whatever it may be, it may be very hard to do. Yeah. And you can then subscribe to this service. It comes in a package that doesn't say cigars on the return address, doesn't say anything, because they want to make sure that you're able to still enjoy good cigars wherever you may be. If you're not close to a brick and mortar, this is a perfect opportunity for you to pick up some cigars that you may have experienced before and maybe you haven't and you can add them to your rotation Absolutely. so we wanted to give them a quick plug make sure we shared our love of luxury cigar club with you guys and gals and let you know that if you're in the market for a subscription service we know there are a ton of them out there but really at the end of the day guys for us it's luxury cigar club absolutely 100 percent. yep so that's it we're gonna uh well get on with the review get on the review 
So, without any further ado, my usual, back to the show. Alright guys, we are back at the end of the first third with the Big Sky Cigars Big Horn. And let me tell you, it is delicious. And the Absolutely. Co- the cool thing about this company is, like I mentioned at the beginning, they're from Montana, they're in Montana, and they love the outdoors. Mm-hmm. And if you go on to Big Sky Cigars mm-hmm. website, which we'll have a link down below for it, and check it out, you can actually, because they love the outdoor so much, you can actually buy a five pack of cigars with some fly fishing gear, uh, you know, a couple flies and things like that. That's a pretty cool And setup. a cutter and all that. So there's a full setup, and you can sort of pick what level, if you will, of a, uh, a fly set you want. Uh, and when you buy your cigar. So it's really cool. So go and check that out. If you're into outdoors and fly fishing and all of that, it's definitely going to be right up your alley. But the flavors on this cigar, uh, we we were trying to come up with what the flavor notes we were picking up off of Initial Light. And I said that it was chocolatey, but there was some sort of a, a sweetness to it that I couldn't put my finger on. And mm. off camera, we were talking, and I said, Kyle, it's like a it's like a chocolate liqueur, and I yes. said no. It's, and then I took it a step further, and I said it's almost like a chocolate and Kahlua liqueur combination together. Kind of reminds me of a chocolate that I actually tried that was like Kahlua infused. Mm-hmm. Something like that was like a dark chocolate with Kahlua in the middle of it. It's like dessert. It's it's like ridic- It's a ridiculous sweetness. Where I mean the 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 cigar itself is not that sweet, but mm. um, thinking about the candy that I tried was way too sweet. But this is a lot more subtle. Yes. But it's uh, very tasty. A lot of leather. Very, uh, very much. Very so. leathery. It's still got. It's got the the wrapper's got a nice oily sheen around where the oh, burn yeah. is, and I actually like that a lot. I don't know why, but I kind of like that, especially when it comes to Maduros and stuff like that. And the burn's not completely straight, but it's not nothing. But it's correcting to, itself. Nicely. Oh yeah, nothing to balk at at all because it's just a little bit of a wave to it, but overall it's doing great. And the ash is holding very nicely. <clears throat> Now it'll uh, drop that you say that. I'm getting... What's that? Now it'll drop that you said that. Don't drop it in your coffee. I will... Well, thankfully, there's a lid on my coffee, so I don't need to worry about that. There so you I'm going to just move that right over here. But... um, And then on the retro hill, and what's interesting is Tim and I are both drinking, as you can see right there. <laughs> it happened to you first. <laughs> he was saying it was going to happen to me, and it happened to him. But look at the construction. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You're not getting burned, are you? Not at all. Wow. But um, I'm drinking, as I mentioned before, I'm drinking a nice, delicious cup of Cuban coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Tim is having a beer. He's I'm having, having you know, 805 beer. I have not had a beer that is noteworthy, at least, on a review yet. And I thought, you know what, let's do something with a beer that, it's not a true dark beer, but it's a good full-flavored beer. So if you haven't tried 805, uh, it's out of California. It's Go and good. check it out. It's really good. And it pairs very well. The, the bready notes in the cigar that we're both picking up, mm-hmm. the beer actually makes it, Almost more of like a, a sweeter, kind of like a, a malted bread. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, just owing to the kind of the hoppiness of the beer, mm-hmm. the malt flavor that kind of lingers in there. It's yep. like you said, it's more full flavored beer. When you get like those darker beers, the darker you go, you kind of get more of that malty flavor, mm-hmm. a little bit more hoppy. And so um, a lot of people will say, I've heard a lot of people say, I should, I should correct myself there. I've heard a lot of people say, don't pair a cigar with a beer. Um, simply because beer can be hit or miss. Yep. And depending on the And it's strength. very hard to pair with cigars. It is very hard to pair with a cigar. Last night I actually had a nice what's it's called like a copper ale. Mm-hmm. And I had that with a nice kind of medium body cigar and it actually went pretty well. Um, I would imagine it'd probably go pretty well with this as well, but I like the the fact that I'm having it with a coffee, a nice Maduro cigar. Maduro or Connecticut, I think, are two of the best types of cigars to mm-hmm. have with coffee, in my opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, having the coffee kind of brought out a little bit more of those sweeter notes uh, for me, but definitely the breadiness came out full mm-hmm. force on the retro hail after I took a sip of my coffee. Yes. Absolutely delicious. And and the bread is where you or the retro hail is where you get the majority of the bread note. Mm-hmm. You can get a little bit without retro hailing. Again, if you don't retro hail, you need to. You should try it. You should learn. But that's totally up to you and your experience. Just thinking about where the cigars are made and where they come out of it. Think, make, it, it takes me back to when I was there last year on vacation. We went and checked Montana, out. Montana, not Nicaragua. No. Nicaragua. <laughs> where, where they're, uh, where they're, you know, kind of uh, distributed in Montana. Um, <clears throat> I was over at Yellowstone, got to check out all of that. Fantastic experience. If you haven't gone to Yellowstone National Park, I mean, you'd have to spend 
weeks there to see all of it, and we only saw a little bit of it. But I just can't imagine going on like a hike or something like that through the park. I don't know what the national parks you know policy is on smoking in the parks. I'm sure there's probably can't probably can't, but they may just, have designated areas. I just like to picture Picnic you know going on a hike and then stopping for a rest and having a cigar in a place like that. Oh, that'd be awesome. Something going camping and smoking cigars, sitting around a fire. That's honestly something on my bucket list that I want to do, and I can just picture just doing just that with this or any other kind of cigar, but definitely this because of just because of the imagery and the background of it and everything like that. So. There's almost, a, and I'm not a fan of it, but there's almost a little bit of a black licorice that I'm picking up now. I don't know if it's because the beer is helping that out or what it is, but there's a little bit of a, a star subtle. anise if you want to go into baking. Yeah, <laughs> it's subtle, but I, I kind of I taste what, what, what you're getting. You just right sort there. of like mold the the flavor around in your mouth, and I. When I go to get flavor notes and different things, I typically will pause and almost sort of like rub my tongue on the roof of my mouth mm -hmm. and just sort of like tap it or gently rub it and just sort of move around the flavors and the oils and try to pick mm -hmm. up what it is that, that you know the cigar is providing flavor-wise. And I'm getting a little bit of that, that black licorice, um, but it's, it's still definitely a very, very background note compared to the breadiness mm -hmm. uh, and some of the, the, the dark earthiness. Yes, def very, and I, on that retro hill I just did, after taking a sip of coffee, got more of that earthy flavor in there, and um, I'm just waiting to see if this ash decides to fall off on me as I'm holding it, like, right there. But uh, another little detail that I forgot to mention is that Tim and I, even though we're getting the same flavor notes in terms of the draw, Tim's got a very light draw and actually got a little bit of a tighter draw on mine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mine's right where I like how it. How that happens. It's, but it's, I mean, we cut about we the same amount off. Cut about the same amount off. I was I was considering cutting a little more off, but I was like, ah, you know what? I don't want to mess with that. Possibly unravel the wrapper. Or Just snip like the that. tip. Yep, pretty much. So, But fantastic so far. Very much enjoying it. Yes. Those are our thoughts on the first third of the Bighorn from Big Sky Cigars. And we will uh, come back to you at the end of the second third with our thoughts then. Be right back. Okay, second third thoughts. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Don't know why I did that. Anyway. Stupid. How long have you known me? Too long. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> we are wrapping up the second third of the Big Sky. Or, yeah, Big Sky, Big Horn. Mm -hmm. So... It is a delicious cigar with very complex, very rich, kind of, I don't know if it's accurate for me to say dark flavors because it's got like oh, yeah. dark leather flavors, dark, you know, very dark cocoa and, you know, Tim ha tasted kind of a nuttiness to it. I haven't quite gotten that. Just for a split second, I got a little bit of like a, a really, a really strong peanut flavor. But um, we just started kind of getting more of that like kind of charred oaky flavor, which I actually like a lot. Um, because when you get some of those woody notes, sometimes you get a little bit too much of that burnt flavor with you know the woody notes. It's not always that pleasant. But this kind of has that nice aromatic flavor when you're, you're smelling like a nice... Uh, whether it's like in a wood fire oven or something like that, and you're smelling some nice charred oak, mm -hmm. and, you know, whether you put it in a fire. You don't usually tend to use oak for, like, campfires and stuff like that. You usually use, like, birch or juniper, different, you know, logs like that. But just that nice charred oak flavor, I really like it. And owing to the construction, just because, you know, Tim, you saw Tim's ash fall off. And picked it right up. And, and he it picked in. it right up. And mine, not too long afterwards, fell right off, but it fell off perfectly. Barely left any mess, and it was, it's still still solid. I don't know. I just decided to save that for posterity, I guess. But, uh, it yeah. It made you feel better. It made me feel a little bit better. I, was, I, I wasn't as embarrassed as, as this guy over here because <laughs> it just splattered right in front of me. But it fell off perfect, and, yeah, wanted to save it and show you guys because I'm a dork. But, anyways, Tim. <laughs> Any other thoughts to add? <laughs> On you being a dork or the cigar? Uh, both. Both? If you, both if you want. No, the flavor guys, like Kyle mentioned, the flavor is really good. The It's gone from being a, a good medium plus to, I would say, a full-bodied cigar. Absolutely. And the flavor notes, everything Kyle was touching on, are really good. I got, like I said a second ago, a little hint of a, a good, strong peanut flavor, good roasted peanut. Uh, but there's... There's the breadiness. There's not much of the leather for me anymore, but there's just the, the dark sort of earthiness. 
just dark, full flavors. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you said dark, it's funny because the word dark was in my head at the same time when you said it. it's just like yeah. dark flavors. Well, I mean, you, you, you consider the color of the wrapper, how oily it is and stuff like that. You've got those really rich, um, you know, again, dark flavors. You know, when you think of different types of things, whether it's coffee or cocoa or even that kind of little subtle hint that lasted for a split second of, you know, the kind of black licorice flavor, which both Tim and I, neither of us care for it. But it, it, it pops up every now and then. In, it does. In, in a dark cigar, a Maduro, uh, one that has a little bit more bite or strength to it. Um, There's some really good it's, – it's almost savory with some of the dark bit. flavors. There's, there's some good savory notes to it. There's the charred oak. There's all those different things. But we're going to come back at the end of the final third and give our As we final thoughts like we do because <laughs> we're basically heading into and starting off the final third right now so those are our thoughts on the second third and we will be back with you guys in just a second with our final thoughts and our score on the big horn from big sky cigars be right back all right guys we are just about wrapped up with the final third of this big horn from big sky cigars and it has been a very good solid well-constructed cigar. Mm-hmm. You've heard about our, all of our flavor notes. You've heard about yes. our experience so far. And the flavoring, when you get into the final third, really doesn't transition a whole lot, but you still no. get some of the breadiness. You get a little bit of the leather here and there. But a lot of the flavor notes just sort of sort of tap dance in and out, back and forth. A there wasn't a con- an overall consistency in my mind with the flavor notes. I got a little hint of cocoa again at the end, yeah. but it's still just a a, a rich flavor in the cigar. Oh, yeah. The richness stays consistent throughout. Um, it has a nice complexity to it. Um, not overly so, but it has just just enough complex flavor to where, like you said, it tap dances back and forth between mm-hmm. certain flavor notes. Uh, we just got like towards this the back end of it a little bit of that cocoa back, but it's very subtle, kind of yep. a bitter cocoa, like a like a baking chocolate or something yep. like that. Um, hints of coffee here and there. The the leather is staying pretty consistent. I don't think that's completely uh, really gone away at all. Um, still very earthy. Mm-hmm. Again, just those dark rich flavors and getting warm it, it's it's getting a little warm and I squishy haven't, i haven't gotten that yet um, i'm a little further i guess yeah you're a little bit further down than i am that's um, a first yeah that is a first normally i don't know what it is i tend to just kind of i don't know if it's just my my puff frequency i don't i don't know what you know if that's a factor because i tend to puff a little bit too much on my cigar sometimes which usually a lot of cigar smokers will tell you not to do that. They would say take at least like 30 seconds to a minute in between each puff, mm-hmm. so that way you can kind of experience it and uh, know what kind of flavors you're getting right. and really enjoy it. Take your time with it. I try not to rush through my smokes, um, but yeah, Tim's a little bit further down than I am, and uh, just about at the nub. I'm just kind of letting it. Uh, I let it sit for a little bit, but um, but yeah, no, it's it, it's very well constructed, solid construction on the cigar, good burn. Uh, very, no really canoeing or tunneling or anything like that. Not at all. Um, you know, I might've corrected the burn once, maybe twice. Mm -hmm. And if it's gone out on me, it's because I let it sit for too long and I was jaw jacking too much like we do every single time, you know, in between, uh, segments, it's just, you know, how it goes, but, uh, really good. And, and I feel like compared to my, the first time I smoked it, um, I feel like I'm getting more out of it this time. I was at a cigar lounge when I smoked it the last time. I don't think I was really able to kind of take the time pay attention and to pay it. attention to it and know what I was getting from it. And towards the end, I, I remember it getting a little bit bitter towards the end. Um, but this time, definitely not the case. Um, I feel like I've been able to, you know, again, pay more attention to it and, mm-hmm. and, and, and know what I'm getting out of it. And it's really good. I enjoy it very much. It is. So you know that we give our evaluation, our rating on on the cigars when we smoke them and review them for you guys. And thank you guys for chiming in, for subscribing to our channel. We're not doing a YouTube subscriber roll call this week. We'll jump onto that next week Mm -hmm. because we've got enough goofy outtakes and stuff going on already, especially with giving Luxury Cigar Club a little shout out. But considering everything, the experience, the burn, the construction, how it's done, I would set this for me rating overall with everything, flavor, transitions, burn, everything that you know that we cover. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this an 89. And I'm right there with Tim on the rating. 89 is definitely uh, the solid rating I would give it. 
very, very good cigar. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, not really many issues or anything like that with it. Oh, there goes the ash. There Again, Tim and I have had a lot of fun with the uh, ash just deciding to jump nope. off and uh, scare us and burn us periodically. So <laughs> but, uh, no, I really enjoyed it this time around. I'm glad that I had the chance to smoke it again. Mm -hmm. I will gladly smoke it again if given the chance. And you yeah, guys, the Pacific Cigar exactly, Show. Exactly. You guys are going to have the chance to smoke the Big Sky as well as other brands at the Pacific Cigar Show. Tickets are obviously still available. We want you guys to uh, check out the experience packages, decide which one is best for you. Mm -hmm. And we just want you guys to come out, hang out with us, have a good time and experience all these amazing, amazing brands. And take home a whole bunch of cigars. Yes, please. I mean, that's part of the fun of it. Yes, you get to come and hang out. Yeah, yeah I guess it's okay. You know, cool hanging out with us. You know, just a couple, We're just of, average couple, guys. couple of dorks, you know. We're just but there. we are... Looking forward most to the cigar community just coming out and connecting and having fun and just enjoying yourself. And, you know, you want to come out and just hang? Cool. You want to come out and do some networking? Cool. I mean, just come out and hang out with us. We yep. really want to see you guys there and enjoy some fantastic boutique smokes. And they offer this one, the Bighorn. They also mm -hmm. offer the Yellowstone, which uh, we covered in review uh, back a few months ago on our channel. But we wanted to obviously... Highlight this one for yes. this week's for the review so mm -hmm. that we can essentially close the series of all of the manufacturers that are going to be at the Pacific Cigar yes. Show. So if you have not seen the other videos that we've done for the last four weeks, this is now the fifth one mm -hmm. since we have five manufacturers at the event, go back and look at those videos, watch them, and give us your thoughts on the cigars that we you know have been checking out. Have you tried them? Have you not? And leave comments down below. Have you even heard of Big Sky Cigars? Yeah. Which is one of the things we love about, as you guys know. Another reviewer, uh, Martina Maya, just sort of gave us a little shout out on his uh, YouTube channel. If you want to check him out, go ahead and click right up here. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, include that link. Uh, but we have sort of made a name for ourselves, even amongst our fellow reviewers, of focusing on boutiques. And this is why we get to do it, guys. This is why we like to do it. Because we get to spotlight cigar manufacturers that you may not have heard of before that you really should be you know be aware of. And yeah. so check them out. We'll link all the information for Big Sky Cigars down below. Remember, if you're into fishing and outdoors, you can pick up one of those sort of custom-tailored packages for fly fishing and whatnot. And just check them out because they definitely deserve it. Absolutely. It is our, honestly our pleasure and so much fun to be able to highlight these brands yes. and, and people who are just passionate, so passionate about um, – what they do and the cigars they create for the consumer. They they want to create cigars that they know you're going to enjoy, cigars that they themselves enjoy and just mm -hmm. want to share with you guys. And uh, we couldn't be more proud to represent the brands that we have uh, at the event and the brands that we continue to get to interact with and enjoy mm -hmm. on our channel. So yep, um, and we've got yeah. a lot of new content coming from some other manufacturers Absolutely. that we're in talks with mm -hmm. as well that we would love to give we're crazy, continued exposure to. Crazy excited and the there's a lot on the horizon, so be on the lookout for that. But obviously, right now, as I've been saying, it's kind of my thing now. It, all roads lead to the Pacific Cigar Show. That is your line. We are less than a month away, guys, and we want to see you guys there. So please get your tickets now. We will have all the information included in links below. Mm -hmm. We always include that because we want to see you guys there. So please yes. get your tickets now and, yeah. And check us out. Yeah. Also, on Instagram, follow at Pacific Cigar Show. Yes. We may or may not be running some uh, giveaways, including sampler packs built from each of the manufacturers that are going to be present. So check out our Instagram, at Pacific Cigar Show. If you're not following us on Instagram, at dads underscore smoking underscore cigars, follow us there. We'd love to have you join us in our journey of enjoying cigars. Send us a DM. Ask us questions. Let us know what you've been enjoying. But... Until our next review, I think that's going to do it. Very much. He's Kyle. I'm Cigar Show Tim. As always, we'll see you. And now your latest installment of Son of a... <laughs> Dad messed up again. Sorry. Dude, Ricola got done like a week ago on a review. That wasn't Ricola. I was tooting my own horn. My big horn. If you feel you have a big horn, then you can say you have a big I horn. I have a nice big horn. Sorry, we're going to cut that one out. <laughs> My big horn is out for everybody to see. <laughs> oh, there goes the heater. <laughs> what?
toot toot. Yeah, toot my own horn. Uh. Tim's horn is pretty one note, but what's uh. not one note <laughs> is this big horn by Big Sky. You Cigar cannot get this up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't do it. <laughs> And that wraps it up for this edition of Mother Dad Messed Up Again. Hey guys, thank you again for tuning in to Dad Smoking Cigars. We really hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out dadsmokingcigars.com. Follow us on Instagram at dads underscore smoking underscore cigars. And follow at Pacific Cigar Show. We'll see ya.